hello everyone so in this video we are going to see about the few conditional statement like we have a and we have a or we have a in we have a not in so when we have to use a and when we have to use or when we have to use in when we have to use not in this all the things we are going to see so i have one of the table this is a empl table i have id name salary location and department so i have first question is like give me the employee details who are from HR department and also their salary is 10,000 or 1 lakh. So how actually I can write a query for this. So what actually I will write. Select star from EMPL because I want to get all those employee details right. So select star from table name first I will write and after that we have to filter our data right. So I will use a where condition where department equal to the HR. So I have a department column where department equal to the HR I will write. And also it is asking like we have and salary is also 10 lakhs. So what I will use? I will use the and condition and salary equal to the 1 lakh. So whenever we use the and condition in this case, these two conditions should satisfy. That if the two conditions are getting satisfied, then only you will get the results. So if you will see in this table, I have a, this HR and the India, but salary is a 6 lakh. So this is not satisfying this condition, right? So this re this result we will not get. You can see I have a HR department and the salary is 1 lakh. Means this detail I should get. I have a salary 1 lakh and the department is HR. So this result also I should get. But here it is a 6 lakh, right? But we are looking only for the 1 lakh. So whenever you will use a AND condition, in this case you have to remember whatever the condition is you are writing, all the condition it should satisfy, then only you will get the result. So select star from employee where department equal to HR and also salary equal to the 1 lakh. If I will execute this, you can see only these two employees I am getting. Because these two employees, they are from HR department as well as their salary is a 1 lakh. So I hope you got the idea about the AND. Now I have another thing. So this is my table, right? Select star from EMPL. Now second question is like, you have to give me, give me the details who are from HR department or he is from a location US. So suppose it is saying like, give me the employee details, either they are from HR department or they are from the location US. So how actually I can write the query? So I will write query like, select star from employee, select star from EMPL, what I will write where department equal to the HR. So it is saying like either they are from uh, HR department or either they are from a US location. So in this case I will what I will write where department equal to the HR or location equal to the USA. Location equal to the USA. So in this case what will happen? In this case whenever you will use or condition right. So either one of the condition, if it is satisfying, then we will get the result. You can see location, we don't have any location USA, right? But we have a department equal to the HR. So I am saying like either the department is HR or either the location is USA, give me all those employee details. So if I will select this and if I will execute this, you can see all the HR uh, result we are getting, but the location is not USA. So or means either this condition will satisfy or this condition will satisfy but in AND condition both the conditions should satisfy that you have to remember. Now let's discuss about the next question. My next question is like give me the employee details who are from HR department or from location USA. So this we already done right. Now the next thing is like give me the employee details of employee where ID is 2, 3, 4, 6. Now suppose I have to get all the employee details where their ID is 2, 3, 4, 6. So what I will write? Select star from EMPL where ID equal to the 1 or ID equal to the 3 or ID equal to the 4 or ID equal to the 6. So I want this right? where id equal to the 2 or id equal to the 3 or id equal to 4 or id equal to the uh, 6. So this is what actually we want. So here we are using a or condition. If I will execute this, so I will get only those employee details where id either 2, 3, 4, 6. 
but you can see we can have a multiple uh, suppose if they have given 100 of column then what actually you will do uh, you have to write 100 time or condition right so instead of doing that we can use a in so how actually i can write select star from empl where id in 2 4 3 3 6 if you write this or if you are writing this or you are writing this both are same so we have a in operator that you have to remember so you can see we are getting the same so either you can use or or either you can use a in both are same now let's see about the next thing give the employee details where id not in 2 3 4 5 6 i have to get all the employee details where id is not equal to the uh, 2 3 4 5 6 so how actually i can write this select star from empl where id not in 2 3 4 5 6 so what i am writing all the employee detail where id not in 2 3 4 5 6 in this case i will get all those employee detail where id is not 2 3 4 5 6 so you can see id 1 this is the detail i am getting so these are the conditional statement that you have to remember Whenever you will use AND condition, then the both the conditions should satisfy or all the condition whatever you have mentioned in a AND, all the AND condition if satisfied, then only you will get the result. Whenever you will use OR, either of the condition is getting satisfied, you will get the result. Suppose you are writing a uh, select star from imply where ID 436. So either 4, either 3 or either 6 is present, you will get the result. Suppose this I am mentioning 66. 66 is not present right so but 4 or 3 is present so i will get the 4 3 so either of the conditions satisfy you will get the result in a or condition not in is just opposite of the in condition